Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It is Monday and I hope you had an amazing, amazing weekend. I had a cracking weekend. It was my daughter's 13th birthday yesterday and uh, what a day it was. She was so excited to be a teenager. We took her on a bit of a shopping spree in the morning. Uh, we went for a nice lunch. I had possibly the best burger I've had for the past well, since we've moved here to Slovakia, I had it on yesterday and it was so good. I, I would love to go back there today to have another one. It was perfect. Um, today we're reacting to Brits try Texas Tomahawk steak for the first time. And this is going to start a discussion like my admission that I've never tried tacos uh, did. I've never had a Tomahawk steak. I have, I've, I've mentioned it a few times on the uh, in in past videos that for the last three years since moving here to Slovakia I haven't had a steak I haven't had a, a nice steak since we moved here and I'm I'm in serious FOMO mode at the moment I'm missing out on so much good food the burger yesterday sort of made up for it but yeah I'm, I'm really missing out on some decent food um, if you haven't done so already please make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you're feeling extra frisky you may as well hit the like button as well I do have a buy me a coffee page if anyone wants to help support the channel down in the description but if not please don't feel any obligation to do so um, just you watching these videos is awesome it really means a lot to a uh, lot to me also i apologize that there was no video uploaded yesterday i did have one scheduled and for some reason it didn't go live so i need to check what happened there i've only realized this morning really um so i'll get that sorted out and i'll probably upload it today as well anyway without further ado let's get into brits try texas tomahawk steak for the first time and today we're having real texas steak i'm so excited this is wild this is going to be our steak right here Life is not fair when it comes to this food, guys. Look at the size of those steaks. I might do a, if I can remember and build up the courage to film in public, I might do a quick walk around of the meat we have available. And I can tell you something right now. I cannot get a steak nearly as nice as that one, from what I see anyway. So, okay. the great thing about the cowboy right here, the cowboy is pretty much the exact same cut as the tomahawk, but okay. you're not going to have this big bone falling off of it. Okay. It is a bit shorter on the top side right here. Got it. But this is the granddaddy of all sticks. The size of this meat cleaver is literally like a kitchen and a museum, and all in the same place. All of our teammates back here, well over about 300 years of combined experience, they've all wow. made well over a million steaks when combined together. Yeah. This steak. is our own little bakery as well. You can see them already making like fresh cheese. You have a bakery. Oh, this is key. Right. We've heard a lot about key lime pie. Oh, yeah. We just yeah, tried it. Yeah, if you've never we, had it, I highly recommend it. Oh, we just had a deep fried, yeah. a deep fried one on the rodeo. A deep fried key lime yeah. pie. Key lime <laughs> pie. I've heard a lot about that. I've never tried it. I've never, ever tried it. And I think he's a bit disgusted that they tried a deep fried one. Yeah, even I have never heard of that. Okay. <laughs> Here's our appetizers. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. The quail bites. Quail bites. And that is not something that quails bite. We are biting <laughs> into the quail. <laughs> Stuffed. I had a few quail uh, that I recently sent to freezer camp and quail meat is delicious. If you've never had quail meat, I highly recommend. Quail bites. And that is not something that quails bite. We are biting <laughs> into the quail. Stuffed and wrapped. Here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> this is so overwhelming. This is crazy. This what is happening? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Wow. What? I don't know if I've ever eaten quail before. No. I've had quail eggs. Mm. I actually once got a discounted quail. It was rancid and I actually got food poisoning. That's the only time I've eaten quail. Are you okay eating again? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, good. It was long enough ago. Yeah. What was this one again? Jalapeno bomber. Get involved. Mmm. That was, that was my burger yesterday, sweet jalapeno burger, and it was freaking, oh man. Mm. The first two bites in this restaurant yeah. has more flavor than we consume in a week in the UK. I mean, it's a taste in Texas. Lime me. Wait, you, want, you want a bit of lime? Yeah. Have some lime, my friend. There you go. Oh, oh I've definitely squirted a bit of my wow. It's always a risk. There you go. It's oh, always there's a always a risk. risk. Cheers, mate. Oh, oh. Those, those oh. mm. You know what that tastes like? You know chicken Kiev? No, it's, it's, like, it's like a prawn Kiev. No, it's not. It is, it's it is like a prawn It's full Kiev. of jalapenos. So There's no... It literally, Luke, also... try that and There's tell no... me it's not a prawn Kiev. Kievs are all about garlic. See, I eat the tail and everything. 
My missus gets a bit freaked out because I'll just crunch on her tail and the shell it doesn't phase me at all. It tastes exactly like a prawn key. Oh, it doesn't. Ooh, it's it's spicy. Yeah, it's, it's a jalapeno. Mm. We are at the end of a whirlwind trip. Whirlwind Texas. tour of Texas. We flew into Austin, primarily for the barbecue. Drove down to Houston and uh, we visited the rodeo. It's been That's amazing. Cool. I love it. People are great. The food is amazing. People are so friendly. The roads are wide. I mean, they're unbelievably big. Everything's big. Unbelievably Everything wide. Everything's just so big. Seriously, the roads. Like for those of you who have been asking, uh, that's where we're looking at actually flying into. We're looking at flying into Austin and, and doing the whole that whole area for our first trip over there. That's, uh, that's what it looks like is going to happen at the moment. The New York thing is off the table because my missus has said she would rather go and experience it properly. So I said to her, how about we go as a family holiday and then you girls can go on a girl holiday and a later date to New York. And she was like, actually, that's a good idea. So that's probably what's going to happen. But like, like I say, it's still early days. Things might change, but yeah, Texas, here we come. The roads have to be that big because the cars are absurdly yeah, big. that's true. I mean, you can only fit two cars on those 23 <laughs> lanes. <laughs> I think it's here. Don't look, don't look. Or behind us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is what I've been waiting for. Are we still excited about this? <laughs> Literally. Sorry to interrupt again. Put it down in the comments how you like your steak cooked. That's always an interesting one. Uh, I am a rare kind of person. Take his horns off, wipe his ass, and put him on the plate. That's me happy. Uh, I don't really do the whole well done steak sort of thing. And yeah, I, I, I like a rare steak. Rare or medium rare. Nothing, Texas, nothing less. To have the taste of Texas steak. Oh, wow. wow. It's like a tennis racket. Oh, I mean, my. you could play golf with that thing. Oh, wow. That's wow. Cool. I would so eat both Take a tag number. This is your way to verify that it's the exact okay. same one. Just okay. It's so like when they put a label on your child when they're born to make sure they don't get mixed <laughs> up. Do they do that? Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. How does this look? Look like a good medium rare for us? That looks absolutely beautiful. Medium the taste of Texas oh right there. <laughs> Why did he give you the badminton uh, racket? And he gave me the, I mean, it's still, it's still a big state. The cowboy state. You look like a cowboy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah actually, that makes me feel good. Uh, okay. Damn it, that means you look like a tomahawk. That's cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what? Do you think I can hold this up? Yes, yeah, I really want to yeah. do it. Yeah, 100%. I would go on, be Josh, go on. cavemanning it. It's heavy. What? Oh my goodness. Holy what moly. The heck. The car behind him, like, what the heck? It's huge. Just eat it. Okay. It's, it's too heavy. Oh. No. Oh. Go, 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 go. Okay. Oh, man. Wow. Look at this. Look at this steak, mate. Tom and my hawk. Let's do this. <laughs> mm. That's so juicy. I was freaking so jealous. Look at it. Oh, soon, 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 Look soon. Look at that. They said it was well. wet age. Does that just mean they moisturize it? We normally have dry age. We normally yeah, have dry, normally dry age. age. But everyone says if you want to age well, you should moisturize. That's just such an idiot. <laughs> it's not the same <laughs> thing. What? Look how big this slice of steak oh, is. What? Nah. End to end pink with a nice little crust on the outside. Cheers, mate. Mm. Oh, my God. Mmm. I really, really so, love it. So wow. So this is good. absurd. Mm. Wow. Mm. Do you know what? I don't understand how you could be vegan or vegetarian. Um, just look at that. That is perfection on a plate. I love it. I am so jealous now. I've got to hunt down a good steak. I have to. What part of the how this is from? Mmm. No. Okay. <laughs> You know what we should have done? This is truffle butter. Put that oh, wow. all on oh. top. I'm Boom. not sure I agree with this, Josh. Boom. What do you mean? If, it, if we don't like it, we're all in. <laughs> that yeah, I, I didn't mean, consider that we were like, maybe not like it. You're like one of those psychos like who puts it. ketchup all over their chips indiscriminately. Not a truffle butter. Yeah, Look I mean, that. I just hope, it, I hope it's good, Josh. I hope it's good. That's all it I'm chills. saying. Don't try some. Yeah. I tell you what is great about this. Oh. And oh. a great steak has this. Look at that. It's crispy on the outside. Yeah, it's it's not dry at all in fact the opposite it's like dripping you can tell it's been so wet juicy. aged so like Paul Rudd he's moisturized the heck out of his face constantly of and he still looks like a millennial at the yeah, age okay. of like 80 all right get involved truffle butter you know this is gonna be good 
Mm. I would be absolutely crap at filming something like this because I'm not saying a word. My head's down. I'm enjoying every second of that. I would not be able to give you a running commentary of how good it is. Or maybe maybe the uh, orgasmic sounds coming out of my body might, <laughs> might give you a clue, but I don't think I'd be able to describe it. I am so hungry now. I took the biggest steak bite I've ever taken in my entire life. It's so flavoursome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's not Wagyu, it's where it's like 80% fat, you know? That is not a lazy cow. That is a cow that spent a long time running away from cowboys. And we learned today that that's hard to do. Those guys are it's tenacious. A They're tenacious with their, <laughs> with their lassoes. They don't mess around. Once they catch you, they dismount the horse almost instantly, uh -huh. right? Yeah. They get up to you. Yeah, yeah. You've already fallen over. They pick you back up on your legs and they go, Back Choke over slam. so that I can tie up your legs tie more up efficiently. Your legs. Yeah. Speaking of cowboys, shall we move on to the cowboy the steak? Cowboy steak. This is a, it's a similar cut, is it not? No. That's what they said. It looked like it has more marbling to me. So maybe a slightly lazier cow. Cowboy steak. You're gonna come to Texas and you see cowboy steak on the menu. You can't you not got, order it. You gotta order it. Blue cheese sauce. Oh, I'm actually up for blue cheese sauce. Yeah, boom. Okay. Blue cheese sauce. Here we go. I want that so to bad. Texas. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. That is, that is more marble. Mm -hmm. Gosh, that's, it's really quite different. It is. It's not, the texture's completely different. It's not as... Um, it's not as beefy. It's not as... Yeah, it's not as beefy, not Maybe as that's lean. because this one's cut on the bone. See, he said, because this is cut on the bone, you get, like, the bone marrow flavour seeping in. It's, like, really beefy, whereas that... That's very rich, you actually. You get the richness of the beef fat just all in there, but it, the softness of it, it melts Can in your you mouth. imagine if you ate all of that? That's insane. That's literally insane. Yeah. No wonder we had to order some healthy greens on the side. That doesn't taste remotely healthy. All I'm tasting right now is pork fat. If Brussels sprouts tasted like that every Christmas, I'd have a whole plate of Brussels sprouts and be happy. Wow. 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 I feel like I've eaten about a normal entire steak's worth of meat already. I'm genuinely full. It's like Texan cars. You can fit most English cars in their glove compartment. <laughs> They're just so freaking big. One more piece so, of this juicy tomahawk. I don't even know whether it's unless... legal to eat hawks in the UK. Oh, this is key lime pie. Key lime pie. Oh, wow. This, this right. I love that we tried deep fried key lime pie before actual key lime pie. <laughs> This is what you said tasted like vomit. Hopefully this will change your mind. I, I have low expectations. Uh, key lime pie. What is key lime pie? I'm not entirely sure what it is. I need to look that up. It looks nice. It looks almost like a cheesecake. I might, I might, I hope I'm not offending anybody, but it looks similar. Mm. It tastes nothing like vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the opposite. It that is, is, that is, so that is good. amazing. It's so mm, sweet. The other one looks it's better. refreshing. But it's but but sweet. refreshing. Look, I know people mm. in the food world like to give awards to things. Mm. I would give that thing an award. Like the pie awards. But it's so good that you've yeah. made up a completely <laughs> fictional award yeah. just yeah. so that you yeah. can award it yeah. with something. It wins. First, first right. prize. Huh? Let's try the other All ones, right. see if they All also right. win awards. Right. Home baked cheesecake. It's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be you know, so you good. I mean, I you know, at this, this point, brown. these guys don't miss. No, I mean. <laughs> Probably the, the least nice way to describe something, the brown one. Mm. You know what I mean, now the one in front of the dude mm. with the watch. Ooh. Ooh, a lot less sweet. That's, I, that's perfect. It's almost like a Basque cheesecake, you know? Where, no. Or like a New York cheesecake. Yes. It's subtle, the flavor. It's not overly sweet, it's not overly cheesy. You know what it's basking in? Oh. The glory of its new award. It has won Shit. an Ollie Kendall Cheesecake Award. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point well, of the award if you just give it up. out to every uh, cheesecake you eat? Excuse me, how could you possibly yes. know that? All right, last up, Josh. Pecan pie. Mm. Look how thick that, that is. Can you see that. how that chunky awesome. this guy is? It's like a amazing. proper layer of just pecan nuts. Is that vanilla ice cream as well? Because vanilla ice cream is the only ice cream I really like. Nuts on the top, and then it gets like caramelly, dense, yeah, that looks heavy. <laughs> Why have you done that? I panic. How did your what thing do go you straight have through against it? the pie? No, I just wanted to get it. Stop it, don't. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's my favorite. I'm in a yeah, bit of a pickle now because I already gave the key lime pie first place in the pie award. This is definitely better than all of the others. <laughs> try it with the cinnamon. Try it with the cinnamon ice cream. Yeah, that cinnamon is unbelievable. Ice. Okay. Okay, what? That's... I'm going to crave the heck out of that. We can't get that in the UK. This is a problem that I'm not going to be able to order this again. This is a problem. 
I think that's maybe my favorite dessert of all time. I think it Whoa. is. Whoa. I think it is. Whoa. As an awards ceremony owner and founder, I speak with a certain degree of authority here. Okay. And I would say that is among the top 10 oh, desserts. Oh, top three. I would say this is top three. basically <laughs> on a level. Do you own an award ceremony? <laughs> I don't think you do, but I do, and I would say top ten. Okay. All right. Well, on that note, guys, this has been an amazing experience. Texas, we, we have you. to come back. Oh, we love I you. Can't In wait. the meantime, we'll see you jolly soon. I cannot wait. I cannot, cannot wait. Uh, like I say, that's somewhere I've always wanted to go is Texas, and I think we've almost settled on it. Uh, to be honest with you, the flights are pretty reasonable. Um, it's not such a long flight, and the food and everything over there is basically what I want to go see so yeah I'm really really excited I cannot cannot wait anyway guys if you haven't done so already please make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're feeling extra frisky you may as well hit the like button as well and I will see you in the next video peace <laughs>